Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Rama, and in today's video, we will be talking about the brand new Chop Shop Salvage Yard business available in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, I was planning to talk about the hourly income and if this was a good business to invest in or something that you should stay away from. And I can tell you without a doubt in my mind that this is probably the worst business for making money in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'm gonna explain why and uh, yeah, it's actually really really disappointed I had my hopes really high for this business because it looked really cool Unfortunately now that I have gotten some time to explore it. I am incredibly disappointed Let's start off with the main way of making money that most of you are planning to participate in and that is the stealing Vehicles in front of you. We have three different cars the BF Weevil the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire and the Grotti Turismo Amagio. Now, as you can see, I have already stolen the Amagio. And as it says, an error has occurred. You've already sold this vehicle. Now, earlier today, it said there's a short waiting period, but uh, that was eight hours ago. You see, the short waiting period is one week. Yes, you heard that right. You have to wait an entire week before these sale missions are going to reset. So that $395,000 I made, plus the $50,000 you'll get if you complete the missions with Elite Challenge, is it. You're going to make $450,000. And by the way, these aren't very fast. They take you about 25 to 30 minutes to complete. I should also point out that this business is not cheap. If we make our way over to Maze Bank Foreclosures and we take a look at, I don't know, La Puerta, right? And we want to upgrade it. Paint job doesn't really matter, but let's get some trade rates. We'll get the tow truck. And we've already got the wall safe, but we can add some staff. This is $4.8 million. Adding on the wall safe, it's going to be around five point five million dollars for a business that I have to wait a week to make even just a little bit of money. Completing all three of these sale missions is going to net you just over one million dollars. That's so incredibly lame. One million dollars, that means I would have to wait five weeks to break even with the business currently. Now, I should point out, I'm not sure if Rockstar is going to make some really good vehicles available. For example, if Rockstar were to make it so you could keep some of these vehicles when you stole them, then it wouldn't actually be that bad. I mean, sure, you'd only be able to do three cars a week, but if you could steal three cars a week and keep them, that would quickly add up. A $2.8 million car that you don't need to purchase and you can sit right in your garage? Yeah, I'd be happy with that. But as of right now, this is a pretty terrible way of making money. In fact, it might be one of the worst ways of making money in the entirety of Grand Theft Auto Online. Some of you might be wondering, okay, well, if that part of the business is really bad, how about the tow truck and the repo work? Is this better for making money? And unfortunately, that is not the case. Starting up tow truck missions is pretty easy. You literally just press launch tow truck service, and then you're going to go steal a vehicle, which is usually like two to three miles away. When you do this mission, sometimes you're going to have cops on you. Other times, you're just going to have to literally bring it back and forth. You might have somebody chase you. As you can see, we have two miles to go to our current destination. And all we need to do is back on up to take the penumbra. And let's go on our merry way. Another two miles to make it back over to our auto shop. And here we are at the auto shop. So when you deliver your vehicle you are going to get a little prompt at the top of your screen, at least the first time you do it, that says, this vehicle is currently being salvaged. Money will be transferred into your account later. And as we can see, it says Penumbra is being salvaged for parts. So to what I have timed, you have to wait 48 minutes and then you will get money, about $30,000 to maybe more, but the first time I did it and the second time I delivered a vehicle, I got 30,000. So it could be more money, but to what I'm aware, that's probably not the case. But you get $30,000 and a boost to your passive income, which is in your wall safe. Now, currently I have $300 in my wall safe, which is absolutely nothing, and I have no clue how much money it makes hourly. What I'm hoping is that the more salvage jobs you do, 
and the more of the jobs over here that, you know, let you steal vehicles you complete will give you more money passive. Maybe if this business actually made decent passive income, like 50, 60,000, it wouldn't be too bad. But as of right now, there's two ways of making money. It is stealing vehicles and delivering them, which gives you a slight passive income and a little bit of money when it comes to the vehicle being salvaged and you get to steal a car. Let's do a quick comparison. I'm going to do the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire mission. First of all, we have to pay $20,000 to start it up. But after we start up this mission, we are going to see how much money we are able to get and how long it's going to take us to complete it. At this point, I've completed two tasks and two setup missions for this vehicle, and it has taken me a grand total of 20 minutes. We are finally ready to start the final mission. 30 minutes later, we are finally doing the sail mission for our Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire. 30 minutes later, that is an insane amount of time to make a measly $340,000. Now, I did complete the Elite Challenge and we got an additional 50k, but we also paid $20,000 to start up this mission. So, in reality, we are netting about $370-ish thousand dollars from start to finish in 30 minutes. That is absolutely terrible. I mean, that's actually awful. That's so bad. So we just got to bring it over to the uh, terminal and we'll be all done. Now, it doesn't look like you get cops or anything crazy. It's literally just a simple drive. Don't crash the vehicle and you're not going to lose any value. But still, it's so disappointing that we are only making $370,000 for 30 minutes of work. I could literally do the Kaioprico heist in 40 minutes, make $1.5 and sure, it might not be as exciting, but I'd still make triple the payout in about the same amount of time. So there you go, $340,000. Now I want to compare how long it took me to do this 30 minutes to a simple sale mission when it comes to vehicle cargo. Here we are in a public lobby. There are 26 players in the session, and it's the first one I hopped right into. We are going to sort by range to top, and let's sell... You know, I really like the Osiris. Let's do this vehicle. We are going to export it for $20,000, and we're going to net $100,000. But because I'm in a public lobby, we also make a high demand bonus, which I should point out is not available when it comes to the chop shop. So it doesn't really matter what we do to the vehicle. Resprays don't matter, so we'll just make it chrome. Yep. Cool, crazy, up, done, and then wheel type doesn't matter either. I usually just do high end because it does make the driving a little bit better. But there you go. Vehicle is fully customized. And now we are going to load into our lobby and we have to drive 2.2 miles to do our delivery. Now, for any of you that are unaware, when you are selling in a public lobby, you will not have people that try and shoot at you, which is the case if you're selling solo when it comes to special vehicle cargo. So I always recommend to sell in a public lobby. Plus, who's gonna blow you up? I mean, you're in a pretty fast vehicle for the most part. This car can go upwards of 120 miles per hour. It's very hard to hit with missiles. So because of that, I'm not all too worried. We are going to speed our way on through. We got 1.5 miles left. Oh, we got a lot. Oh, that car turned right in front of us, but we're all good. All good, all right, let's keep going, keep going, and I'm just taking my time here. I mean, we got 15 minutes to do a simple delivery as it is. And here we are at Martin Madrazo's house. Now all we have to do is drop off the car. Congratulations, we have completed our delivery. We made $100,000, we're gonna get 50,000 extra due to the high demand bonus. As you can see, 150 was added to our account, and we did spend 20,000, so we netted $130,000, but here's the difference. The sale mission itself took me about two minutes to complete, and the source missions only take me about five to six minutes to do. That means that in a total of eight minutes, I can make $130,000. Now, there is a cooldown of, I think it's 20 minutes or so before you can do another sale mission, but... In an hour, I can still make about four, five hundred thousand dollars. If you pair that with payphone hits, I'm making upwards of six to seven hundred thousand dollars an hour, which is what my math checked out to be a couple months ago. It's so much easier and so much less effort to use a business like vehicle cargo. 
And the best part about it is you don't need to wait a freaking week to start the sale missions once again. Hopefully Rockstar does something about the latest business because right now the chop shop was a waste of 5.5 million dollars. So I could basically get a pretty useless thing. The only thing I will say is that I noticed there was $12,300 in my chop shop, which means that I actually made a decent chunk of passive income, 10,000 in the last up. But still, that's not nearly as much compared to anything like the nightclub. So at the end of the day, I hate to say it, but I don't think I would recommend to pick up the Chop Shop. I mean, even if you don't pick it up right now, let's say Rockstar makes it better in the future, you'll obviously have the opportunity to still buy it, so it's not like you're missing out on anything. Right now, the business is incredibly lackluster. There's nothing unique about it, apart from the fact that you get to tow a vehicle. Woo! Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm rather disappointed. I really was hoping that this was gonna be something new, it was gonna make a lot of money, and it was gonna be a new revamp form of vehicle cargo. But alas, it is a waste of time and money. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.